Good day, folks, and welcome to another edition of Lumberjack Logic. I'm your host, Neil Johnson. Excited to share this report with you. This is big news. Okay, so I'm going to share some video, and you're not going to believe these voters' reactions, but I want to bring you in just a little bit of the polling numbers before that. So Emerson College did their most recent poll that has Trump up by plus seven or plus four, depending upon who's included in the race. And Spencer Kimball, the executive director of Emerson College Polling, compared Trump's standing in this national poll to this time last year. Last November, Biden led Trump by four points, whereas this November, he trails Trump by four. Several key groups have shifted in the past year. Biden led at this time last year among women by seven points, which has been reduced to a point this year. So that's a six-point shift in the female vote. Other notable shifts... From plus 61 amongst African-American to plus 47, that's a 15-point shift. From plus 14 among Hispanic to plus 3, an 11-point shift. From plus 12 among voters under 50 to negative 1, a 13-point shift. From plus 18 among four-year college graduates to plus 2, a six-point shift. It appears that college graduates might actually be waking up. But look at this live on the street interview from Newsmax. And then I'll go over a couple other really significant stats. And if you're new to the channel, make sure you subscribe. So I came to the Bronx to put a face on the numbers. And I was shocked by what I heard on the streets. Do you think that President Biden is doing a good job with the economy? No, he's not doing nothing yeah, to support nobody. Know, right. Was he doing a good job? Yes or no? No, no. I, just, I can see we're all going to be the streets homeless. Biden and his press secretary said that prices are going down. Is that your experience or is that not true? No, that is definitely not true. Prices are definitely going up. I used to go across the street to Fordham to go get me a meal. I can't even get me a meal because that meant $20. <laughs> Minority communities, we're not seeing the improvement. Um, I, I, there's inflation with everything, food, gas, insurance prices. I mean, you name it. Well, Bidenomics is not working. It's, it's just a complete mess. It's a disaster, especially here in New York City. We're fitting it very hard. If you could say anything to Biden right now who says that the economy is improving, especially in black and brown communities, what would you say to him? That's lies. I believe that's lies. Heavy lies on that, for sure. Again, folks, this is in the Bronx, and they are asking, bring back Trump. And get this, in another poll, in a four-way race, the independent candidates, Robert F. Kennedy and Cornell West on the ballot, Trump earned 41%, Biden 33%, Kennedy 13%, and West 2 People, this is with independence. So Trump is eight points ahead of Biden in independence. And Biden's approval ratings remain low with only 38% of registered voters approving of his job performance, while 57% disapprove. I'm still trying to find the 38%. But while most data points to a Biden versus Trump mean rematch, we keep hearing that America doesn't want that. Well, check this out. They don't want Biden by 67% to Trump 55%. So Trump is significantly more popular. And when asked who they trust on the economy, it's Trump in a landslide. Uh, bring back Trump. Tell me why. Um, we want all we want. We have money. We have money when Trump was president. I'm going to vote for Trump if he runs. Because I feel like it was much better when he was here financially for everybody. Not just me, for everybody. I'm definitely voting for Donald Trump. He made sure we had money in our pockets. <laughs> he was for the people. He made sure we had what we needed. I feel like everything will go back to how it was. I mean, ever since he's been out of office, everything's declined. When Trump was president, my life was good. E e Economical-wise, I was doing so much better. People, this is in spite of the fact that this is in New York City, the Bronx, where Letitia James basically has free reign over the media and a positive image. This is also in the light of the fact that we've got all these trials going on with the DOJ and deep state persecution of Trump, where they're trying to keep him off the ballot in every state. They're persecuting and prosecuting, and they're not getting anywhere because he's only becoming more popular. This is great news for America. Hey, remember to check out my sponsor, MyPillow. That's right, MyPillow.com. Promo code Lumberjack will get you big savings. And subscribe if you're new to the channel. Peace out.